Hi y'all. This is Robin with Can't Wait Smells Great. And with today being 9-11, um, I couldn't let the gate today go by without posting um, a little bit about 9-11. And what always comes to my mind is the day the world stopped. Because for me, it felt like everything just froze. I froze. Um, and like the whole nation just froze in time um, and I've got a little thing that I shared on my Instagram um, you'll have to go to Instagram to see the picture but um, I copied it from somebody on Facebook and they have a, a copy of the Twin Towers and there's faces all on there um, and then the Statue of Liberty but um, what's written um, it says, last night, 17 years ago, 246 people went to sleep in preparation for their morning flights. 2,606 people went to sleep in preparation for work in the morning tomorrow. 343 firefighters went to sleep in preparation for their morning shift. 60 police officers went to sleep in preparation for morning patrol. Eight paramedics went to sleep in preparation for the morning shift of saving lives. None of them saw past 10 a.m. September 11th, 2001. In one single moment, life may never be the same. As you live and enjoy the breaths you take today and tonight before you go to sleep in preparation for your life tomorrow, kiss the ones you love, snuggle a little tighter, and never take one second of your life for granted. Never forget. And I added a little bit. I said, always pray and have your heart right with Christ. You never know, know, you never know when your time will come. Be ready. So, I know exactly where I was, 9-11-01, um, and I'm going to share that with y'all. Um, I was going through a very hard time in the my marriage. At that time, I was married to my children's uh, uh, father, and I was in counseling, and the counselor was making me work through a lot of my past hurts and traumas and I was very 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 depressed they had me in day treatment and things like that so I was in the office with the counselor exactly I had had this feeling of like foreboding kind of thing when I was driving up there I had to be there like at 8 30 something like that so I was driving early in the morning and I just had this feeling like something was going on and I couldn't explain it but I told the counselor that you know, I didn't know if it had to do with the therapy I was going through or what it was, but I just didn't feel right. And I was in his office, um, I think from 9.30, well, somewhere in that time frame. But I know when he let me out, I went to a little conference room where they had where you could go and have a drink and, or water, sit down, whatever. And they had the news on. And I went in there, and while I was in there was when the second plane hit the tower. And so, in all of that happening, I watched the collapse of the towers, and we're finding out about the Pentagon, and the Pentagon, my aunt worked in the Pentagon, so personally, you know, it, it touched me personally, plus the, the human nature side of me, I was just devastated, devastated by, oh my gosh, what am I seeing? And so, I haven't been able to watch like they made the movie about the 9-11 World Trade Center and I have I ordered I think videotapes at the time of actual footage from all the different news agencies and stuff and I've never been able to go back and watch them just because it hurt me so bad it, it affected me in such a way and today I watched when the president spoke in Pennsylvania and I cried and I cried I mean it just tore me up um, so I wanted to share a little bit with you about where I was that day and what was going on and how it affected me personally. Um, uh, and I can't let the day go by without telling you about something that happened 9-11-2000. And this is forever etched in my heart and my soul. Um, as a registered nurse, I've cared for many, 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 many patients. Um, but at that time, I was working in labor and delivery. and um, we had a patient that uh, we had had in there for several, she'd been there for quite some time uh, fighting preeclampsia. And the day before my shift, 
because I worked night shift that time, um, they had had to take the baby by C-section. And so when we come in that night, another nurse, who was actually my preceptor, um, was taking care of her, and I was helping some because I had done cardiac before I came there, and they still, you know, had her monitoring and stuff. And um, But during the night, things went really, really, really bad. And for me, I'm not going to say her name, but she, I know her full name, I see her, I know the baby's name, I know everything that happened, and it was devastating to me and the crew that we were working with, and I always reach out to my preceptor friend, you know, she is one of my best friends, and, you know, we talk about it on this day because it affected us so much, but I can remember the heartache of the family um, when they we had to call a code and it was the first time we were a small unit it was the first time that they had ever had to call a, a full code in that that unit and I remember the doctor telling the mom that she's gonna be okay and I'm sitting here thinking uh -uh. I mean as a nurse you you know you know you know when things aren't right and I had to go down with her when they did they did a CT before they or yeah I think a CT before they took her out on the chopper and I remember the flight nurses saying that they didn't know why they were transferring her and the girl's mom she was she was young adult she was 20 something the mom heard that and fell into our arms with the grief and the devastation of what she had just overheard. So as medical providers, we have to always be on guard of what we're saying and who may be in earshot. But that patient is my one patient. I have lots of patients that I remember, but hers is that situation and that night will forever be in my heart. You know, we get, went back to the floor after flying her out and we're having sitting there with the baby in our arms because we kept the baby for several weeks after and it just it just tore us up and we had an abruption you know a patient come in with an abruption right after so we had to go straight into an emergency c-section and like I said this was a small unit and you know to have one emergency was like that big emergency was uncommon but to have two back to back was just oh gosh so anyway, today's been especially hard and I'm bringing my feelings here and talking about it with you guys because I trust you all and this is a good community, a family community that we are in and I love you all and I thank you all for, for being a part of my journey and I will always talk about this on 9-11 every year and we just continue to lift up her family and that child he's 18 now you know and today's his birthday and I can tell him in my thoughts and prayers to God happy birthday little and I'm not going to say his name either because I don't want to mess up patient privacy but that will forever be a, a spot in my life and then the tragedy of the towers and the Pentagon and Pennsylvania flight going down and all of that you know um as a nation, especially now, we need to pull together. We need to remember that, that feeling afterwards, that feeling of coming together and unity and, and pride for our nation. And, you know, all of this craziness that's going on out here, the violence, you know, from all sides, you know, it's just coming from everywhere and it's just so unpredictable. And, and we just, gosh, pray, 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 pray and do your best to treat others as you would want to be treated. And I thank you all for giving me your time today, and I love you all, and um, thank you. Thank you for joining me, and have a blessed day.